inside the temple in Jerusalem and we are about ready to go on a tour. Tyler's, Tyler's right here. Hey guys, it's me, Tyler. We're about ready to go on a tour. We're getting a teaching right now on the way that the temple was built on each other. Also, <clears throat> there's cats here. There's a cat. And we're actually gonna go underneath the Western Wall where everyone goes to pray because they want access to the history of it, which goes down. So King Herod, when he built a bunch of stuff on top of that, so Solomon built and all these other people built. King Herod was a trip. Uh, like straight up drowned his sons because he was afraid they'd try to take power before he died. Yeah. He was power no, hungry. Mues no, no bueno. No bueno. Thirty-nine feet long, and it weighs four hundred tons, over four hundred tons. Yeah. And the other one next to it, that's even more. What's Six, more than four hundred? Six hundred. Six hundred tons. Six hundred tons. That's insane. That's one point two million pounds. It was uh, it was carved out by yeah. King Herod. That many tons. That's more than Neil and I weigh combined together. And that's after leg day. <laughs> We're coming up underneath the one portion of the Western Wall. So the, the portion of the Western Wall that they pray at is called the Wailing Wall. Because but that's the part they're allowed to be next to. Except for women who are in great need, who need to pray. And so we may see some of them. There's actually one right up here past us on the left. And she's praying and it's basically 24 hours a day that they will pray. And the reason that, that they're praying in that spot is because they are directly underneath like the Holy of Holies. It's the end of what they call Herodian Street. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, but it's King Herod's, like we're standing on this, like right here. This is part of the street. Um, they said this is so thick, they go like tons of pounds. And when the Romans were throwing these boulders over, it was barely making dents in it because it was such a foundation. Well, you know, Herod was around 35 BC. Well, they found out, um, Herod was known as like the great builder. Well, there was somebody called, I think the Macadoos, is that right? How you say it? The Macadoos. They were um, about 165, 167 BC, so about 130 years before King Herod. They were the religious ones, whereas Herod was like the builder, that was who was known for it. So uh, what they did was they found out that underneath the foundation of what Herod, they thought Herod had built, was what actually what the Macadoos had built as well. So that's a pretty cool fact because it's like, there's so many layers to Jerusalem, the Jewish culture, and everything. It's like different rulers have built and built and built. And it's like we talked about in our previous one, we tried to build a, a hotel in the early 2000s. We found a synagogue, I didn't find it. Other people found a synagogue underneath it. There's just so much culture and history under so many layers. And so it's like each story of the Bible that are hundreds or thousands of years apart, you're finding pieces that are just stacked on top because the Jewish culture and the Jewish religion it's all been from one location, like or well, these singular locations, but it's levels upon that location, which is, is really cool. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> these, these are aqueducts that this would fill with water, this is waterways, but directly above us are the streets of Jerusalem. Those are giant rocks that are basically cut by stone cutters perfectly put together. And those are the streets above where we are. Remember what we said, this is layer upon layer. I don't know if we're going down or up anymore. So water used to roll through these mugs, just like me, right now. It's like Brad Pitt's water run through it. Rather, river run through it? Yeah, something like that. These paddings are for our safety. Oh, check out this water. Would you look at that? Right now, we're in the western, like on the side of the western wall. This right here, it's too, thousand years old. It's incredible. Tyler, Tyler's looking for a restroom. I bet that's not shocking. Neil, yeah. NLC Live, yeah. we pour a layer of concrete on top Ooh. and then in a couple thousand years people were talking about the NLC Live layer we had just yeah. for a few minutes. Write our name in the cement and put our hashtag. And our hands. And our hand <laughs> Excavated the style of stone cutting, I guess. The stonery. The stonery on that rock is exactly what keeps.